Okay, so I'll quickly run through the offering summary. Uh, before after that, I'll pass the time to uh, Ming Tai, who will take you through the presentation. So thank you for dialing in. Uh, so the issuer is Opstar Berhad, uh, with an IPO and listing on the ACE market of Busa Malaysia Security Berhad. Total offering size for this IPO is one hundred sixty five point four seven nine, uh, million sh shares. Right, that represents about 26% uh, of the total and large issue share. So 5% will be made available to the pu Malaysian public. 3.5% uh, will be made available to eligible directors, employees, and business associates who have contributed to the success of the group. 5%, uh, another 5% will be by way of placement, prior placement to selected investors, uh, and lastly, 12.5% of the shares uh, will be prior placement to identified Bumi investors approved by Ministry of International Trade and Industry of Malaysia. So this is the 100% primary issuance uh, and there is no offer for sale from the management. IPO price stands at uh, 63 cents per share. Uh, this will bring you to a market cap of 481 million. So the promoters and pre-IPO investors are subject to six months uh, moratorium. Uh, and in total, they will raise about 104.25 million uh, in proceeds. So out of this, 48% will be used for business expansion through expansion of workforce. 24% will be for establishment of new offices. 12% um, for R&D expenditure. 12% for working cap and the rest will be for the listing expenses. So the indicative timeline for this IPO, um, applications have been opened on 22nd February, so and it will close on 3rd of March. Balloting will then be on 7th of March, and the listing for Opstar will be on 15th of March, 2023. So there will be a dividend policy. Uh, it will be at 25% of the annual audited profit after tax. Okay, and lastly, uh, Afin Huang is the principal advisor, sponsor, sole placement agent, and sole underwriter for this IPO. So if you look at a semiconductor, semiconductor has been in Malaysia uh, for more than 50 years. And this industry um, has contributed more than like 38 or 39% of total export uh, last year. What is IC design, right? So IC design in a layman term, right, is the very first step in the realizations of semiconductor, semiconductor uh, component, or we call it chip, right? So this is the steps that we translate the specification, product specification given by customers. And as of January of 2023, we have a total of 227 employees, of which we have 217 uh, design engineers. Our headquarters is in Penang, and we have an office uh, in KL, uh, TPM, in the Bukit Jalil. And we also have an office in Shanghai, China, uh, a wholly owned uh, subsidiary of Opstar. We moving forward, we have planned expansion in Penang. We also have planned expansions into new geographies such as India, Taiwan, and Singapore. So uh, these are some of the examples that the chip that we design or help our customer design is going to be ended up with, right? If you look at our major customer for the past three years, at any one year, the top five customers actually contribute more than 96 or 97 of the revenue, right? Especially, you know, for those customers that we engage and they give us a complex project, right? And if we need to, let's say, for example, move two-thirds of our resources to take on one project, then that particular customers will contribute, you know, significantly in our revenue. So we are in the industry that size matter. That's the reason we feel that you know, with the 220-ish employees, right, um, we still gated by our ability to take on major projects you know, at one particular time. IPO actually gives us the ability to grow our company you know, in a more aggressive way so that we can have multiple complex projects running in parallel.
And this is the management structure. So we have a very, uh, I call it organization structure. First of all, um, our team has a lot of experience working with different foundry. Foundry will be like TSMC, Samsung or Intel. In Malaysia's context, is like Sutera or Expat. So um, you can find the financial uh, information in our prospectus, right? I just want to highlight, right? In the past three years, uh, we have almost doubled our revenue. And uh, you know, the gross profit, the, the EBITDA and also the profit before tax actually following the same trend um, um, as the previous one, the revenue. And uh, revenue by uh, business uh, segments, right? Uh, another, you know, uh, 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 data point, but this is uh, on the uh, numbers, revenue numbers, right? And uh, revenue by geographical market, you know, the comparison between the FYP 2020 and FYP 2023. Um, as you can see, uh, we have been increasing the Malaysia uh, customers right uh, 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 in the past, you know, uh, one year. And this is the financial information. So we have planned to um, increase our workforce by another two hundred eighty in the next three years, right? So the next one is to expand our geographical footprint. And the next one is uh, business expansion through investment and acquisitions. Uh, the next one is expanding post silicon validation service. The next one is we'll continue to develop IPs. And the last one is we will continue to collaborate with the tertiary institutions, especially the local universities, so that we can create a resource pipeline that can fit into our company and continue to support our future growth. Thank you.